it's feedback gaming welcome back guys to my series as poland as we grind away and trying to hold back the american invaders okay we lost our holdings in labrador which is not devastating we've got still got newfoundland so we can use that as some kind of two front war thing maybe maybe uh, but for the time being, we're just carving out the Middle East because we have to get rid of Iraq and Saudi Arabia and Iran because they are going to keep hitting us and dropping off troops if we don't leave them. If we don't leave them. If we do leave them? Yeah, if we do leave them. Um, Greater Poland, Brazil, and USA. Sorry, start again. Uh, Brazil, USA, and Canada are our main targets. Yeah, they're our main targets. I think it might be better to make st land all our forces here. And then, not that one. And then, yeah, we'll land all our forces here. Oh, we might as well do that one as well. Siam, so Burma, East, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think what we're going to do is we, we, we're going to hold on to Mexico just to see if we can hold it. And it looks like we are holding Mexico, so in that case, we'll build up the infrastructure. And that'll be our stand launching ground for our assaults. You know what we'll do as well? We'll build an airport as well. Airport. Airport, airport, airport. You can never have too many airports, right? Yeah, one, two, three, four. Is that overkill? Yeah. Eh. There we go. Supply issues in Mongolia, as I would imagine. You guys are still building up preparation, which I don't have any problem with at the moment. Oh, 27th and 27th. Okay. That's good. This one gives tactical bomber strategic bombing, ground support. This is strategic bombing and interception detection. None of those really jump out at me. we we'll go for that one now. Let's do it. Working on semi-modern rocket artillery. Cool! Alright, these guys are attacking in. They're all noobs though, so they might not do very well. These guys are going to launch into Brazil. These guys are maneuvering into position. Let's go here? Really? No, 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 no. You guys go... Here. And then do the classic maneuver here. Oh, look at that for an attack line. That is an attack line. Aggressive, stop, go. I just want to make sure the AI doesn't derp out, so that's why I'm stopping the orders and starting them again. No derping. Got some newer divisions working on too. They're all rocket based. How's our equipment going? We have tons of everything. We could do with some more modern tanks though, but we have to wait for the retention to build up the uh, production efficiency. There's some troops here as well. Oh yeah, this is kind of split into two. Maybe what we should do is go for Pyongyang here and here. Then there's still a port here too. Ooh. I want to grab all the ports. If I can just grab the ports, that means they won't be able to reinforce and all their divisions will die. RIP. Struggling a little bit here. So Pyongyang is the capital of Japan. Who would have known? Who would have known? Yep, working on the infrastructure there, that's good. Preparing our assault. We'll launch our attack assault onto Brazil. They have a lot of divisions too, so they're gonna put up a fight. Skinny land is service by requirement too, and Canada is scraping the barrel. Okay, interesting. Okay, waiting for everyone to get into position. Oh, they're encircled here. Uh, we should kill that front line. Yeah, they pushed in here by counterattacking. So the troops all based on this weird bulge here. I've got supply from the Middle Eastern countries, so they'll still move. But the ones stuck here, they're dead. 
These are going to burning out. They'll be suffering from loads of attrition. I don't don't they get supplied internally though? I think they do, don't they? Well, we're going to find out anyway. This is going to be the experiment. Whoa! Hello. We lost fifty-one subs. This is a defeat. We, oh yeah, maybe it is because we lost fifty-five subs and they didn't lost as many. And then here, we took out 14 destroyers and two light cruisers. We only lost two subs. Cool. Convoys, convoys. What was that? 42 we just took out? 42 American convoys. Damn. Three. Three convoys there. Nah, eh, we don't want to do that. That's pointless. Let's get out our best artillery, rocket artillery. Where are they? Got two rows of it. Good, good. So Turkey's independent as well. But they just hold a tiny little bit of land in Antolia. Oh, they hold one division. Okay, they don't have to worry too much about them. Iran is... 12 to 14, 10 to 14, scraping the barrel. Iraq, scraping the barrel, they have a lot more divisions though. And Saudi Arabia has one division and they're scraping the barrel too. That's good, that's all up today. Can't get those yet. We could start working on some a few of these, couldn't we? I don't know what we'd work on though. Some of these kind of feel like optional because some of them have got penalties. So I feel like eh, you could take them, you could leave them, you know. I guess maybe the attri attrition reduction would be pretty cool. Desert clothing. This reduces attrition in winter. Yeah, let's do it. We've run out of things to research, anywho. 116 days, one defense and one breakthrough for solid color clothing. Where should we look now? Let's look. Oh, another naval assault. Taking out a lot of big capital ships. Only losing a few handful of destroyers. The way I see it, just submarines. Sorry, sorry, submarines, should I say. Um, you feel like you can make them at like stupid speed, you know, in comparison to capital ships. So I don't mind losing quite a lot of just submarines to trade off for capital ships. So when it says defeat, I lost 50 servers, but I took out 10 capital ships. I'm like, I'm happy with that. You know, like, I, I feel like if you compare the production cost, I feel like it, I don't know, it met kind of in the middle, you know. It was a, it was a decent trade-off. Oh, come on, this has definitely got to be a victory. Look how many ships we've taken out. Let's see, is it over? Is this carrier going to run away? I have noticed that carriers seem to fight from the rear quite often. And it feels to me like you never really get a good opportunity to hit them with, like, uh, destroyers or submarines and battleships. It kind of always feels like you have to get kind of close to them. Which is, which I said is quite rare. So you normally have to use, like, aircraft carriers. Like, the best way to take out an aircraft carrier feels like, well, with an aircraft carrier. Is this it? Is it over? Oh, shit. Yeah, it's over. So it was, we lost 45 submarines. But then we took out all of that. I don't know, to me that feels like a victory, but... I didn't make this game. Alright, more of our troops are coming over. All our best modern main battle tanks. We haven't converted the full division yet. Can we do that? Oop, no, 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 wrong one. This will need... 2,600 modern tanks, and we have got... We can just do that, I think. Just. Yeah, just. Okay, that's cool. In a second. Was that a front line over there? 
When the borders get so messy like this, it's really difficult to follow what's going on. This is... This guy, right? Now this is a guy breaking through... The Carcass Mountains, right? Oh, that's too far ahead. And this guy's launching their amphibious assault. We might as well go now. Yeah, let's go. This guy needs a field marshal too. Have we got a field marshal that we can call in? Yep, he'll do. I am not going to pronounce it. His name is Bort. Bort the Bolish Field Marshal. Kibaba's capitulated. Okay, that's that's one one out of four down. Got three more to go. Ooh, I did not expect that. I had to see troops landed. They've completely bombarded them with troops though, if you think about it. Uh, go here. You guys go here and here. Alright, I think this is going to be relatively easy. This is pretty cool though, because I'm multitasking quite heavy, you know. I feel like I should do that more on EU4. I feel like with EU4, you're always against the clock. Where this one, you've got a lot more time on your hands, so... Um, these are all disconnected. Yeah, we need to take out the over the runners here. This is the pink army, right? Alright, I'll select all you guys. Put them into a new army. Go here, and then go here. And go here. Yep. We've got a field marshal on standby that we can call in. He'll be our guy. Uh, I'm going to go for the destroyer upgrades, which are a few here. Give extra organization for destroyers. Yep, go, go, go. Go here. Be aggressive. Go here. Go, go, go. Ooh, do we not have a port yet? Oh, shit. 11 days? Wow, the weather not have access to port, they don't have any speed, do they? It kind of should give you speed, shouldn't it? And then the speed should go down over time. That's how it feels. It feels more realistic to me, that. You know, like, because then, then the, the supplies are working down. And I imagine that's a lot of calculations, though, and the game's already running a bit slow, so probably that's the reason why they didn't do that. Oh, no. Oh, no. How many troops they got here? Oh, damn, they have a lot of divisions. So where did we... We landed here, didn't we? We should have... I think the only solution is you've got to land directly near a port. Otherwise, you're going to find yourself really struggling to gain port. So we've got to pray now that we can hold out for a month. Ouch. This guy's got the same color as this guy. Let's give him the color of Brazil, green. That way we don't forget who we are. Stop. And they should be in the Americas as well. And all of the you guys should be on a field marshal too. Field marshal, you, perfect. Yes. We lost some convoys. That's probably they probably had tanks in them. Lost ten subs. Okay, that was actually that was a defeat. We lost ten subs and they only lost one plane. Yet again, that's definitely a loss. It's the carrier doing that, isn't it? The carrier is doing a lot of damage from afar. I've not played with carrier planes in a wrong time, you know. Maybe I should do that. Play as USA and, like, I don't know, do some really crazy damage with carrier planes. That'd be kind of cool. Are you really stuck? So all of this looks connected now. Hmm... Right, you don't need to wrap around him, just kill him. There we go. Alright, you guys rush on Pyongyang. 
See, there's a lot of troops there, you know? A lot of troops. They're gonna fight in Korea for a... My looks thing's a very long time. Those are burning. I bet he can't move, he's got no organization. War industrialist, smooth talker, doesn't matter. All the national focuses are done as well. Took out four subs. If we needed imports, we'd have to bring in oil and chromium. I think we pretty much got all the world's chromium. No, I don't think we do, actually. This is France? Yeah, France has got a lot of chromium. I guess we could import it, but there's no point. We need all the production we can get, so I think I'm happy with what we've, what we've got. Alright, this is looking bad. Because look, they've got no organization now and they're suffering from 30% attrition. This is a moment where you pray the AI derps out. There you go. We're 13th of July, so we have to wait another two weeks. Just shy of two weeks. And then we can launch an attack. Oh, look how many troops they've got here, though. Hmm. A lot of old planes here. Thousand. Thousand. Let's get rid of all these old planes to begin with. This one's 2002. These are air superiority of Britain. Okay. Yeah, I want to get rid of all the old planes first. It's really annoying when the AI's got like loads of planes like in your own airports. Please do not do that AI. Air superiority here. Hold the ground. Perfect. How many jet fighters have we got? We are making them, but not many of them. Yeah, we've got a few. We'll start working on some jet fighters soon. We've got the air experience too, so we could make a variant, but then we've got a new model on the way too. The new model we can research. Oh no, it's a year and a half away. Okay, maybe not then. All right, fair enough. We'll make a variant of the jet. Range, reliability, engine. What does engine do? Engine gives it more max speed on weapons. No, that's max now. Okay, I'll do. Oh, they can't move because they've got no organization. Someone's got to save him. Rescue me. How far away? It's 14th of July, isn't it? This is going to be complete. 13th now. It doesn't look like Brazil is actively being involved in other conflicts. It looks like all of their troops are based here. Which is a concern because that means we're going to fight them. When we're fighting them on their turf, they're going to put up a big fight. Supply, 31 of 9. Oh, there we go. We're getting an organization now. Oh, we can't even build infrastructure. What's the infrastructure like? Five. Oh, it's not too bad. Let's fix all these roads.
You know what we could do? We could arrange a coup. How long would that take to complete? Oh, actually, no. Don't you have to select a, a territory first? Cancel coup. Stage a coup. What does this mean when you select a province? I don't understand. I don't know. Should we select a province that's got a lot of industry? I don't know. Maybe we should select New York, maybe? Where's New York? New Mexico... There we go, New York. What? Oh! You can select it on the map, okay. How long will this take? Doesn't say, does it? Daily, reach 268. So it's going to take 600 days. Over 600 days. Ouch. Oh, there's a Brazilian army here. One Brazilian troops. Come on, guys, get him. Alright, this is the very last port. If we take out this port, then we, we, we've got him. I know what's going to happen now. They're all going to sit on this island. I know they are. <laughs> yeah, we can't get across. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Stop. Alright, okay. We've done what we needed to do. You guys now are going to be assigned to this field marshal. Oh, shit. Really? Did that work? Yeah, everyone. Okay, you can't do that. Okay, go here. Go here. Go here. There we go. We could go for reconnaissance as well, couldn't we? So it only if it improves storming of urban and forts. Which I don't really want. I don't care about that. Sniper teams, extra attack and reconnaissance. Let's do that. We've not improved our support brigades in a while. That's always something I forget about. 1948, so we can do another row of these. Not making any gains here. Ah, but we've broken through here, though. Let's deploy those new divisions that we're in training. Stage a queue against skinny land. Set priority for equipment and supplies and dimmer So do we have to just make guns? Is that how it works? Set the diplomatic for... Set the priority for equipment that supports this diplomatic support. Doesn't say, does it? We've got loads of guns anyway, so that wouldn't be an issue, would it? This is the pink pink one? Yep. I'm checking for pockets, see if there's any suspicious troops. There are pop puppets. They looks like they're breaking out here, but now you can see that we've we've oh, I don't know, maybe not. I was thinking that if we cut them across here, all these troops will starve out, but not yet anyway. He's starving out too. Okay, these guys are going to be red. And I think their mission is going to be this. You guys are going to go here. And your job is to cut them in half. Got this supply problems here, I reckon. Infrastructure is only one. Ugh. The infrastructure is seven, though. How many divisions are there? Eleven? Uh, 
Can you guys escape? No, you've run out of organization. So if the AI was smart here, they'd realize that and they'd be like, hang on a second. Can you escape? 11 divisions, really. Hmm. Air support, yep. Maxed out air, su air superiority in that region now. I'm tempted to try and do an assault, but that's not going to work, is it? Friendly air support, division still preparing, division's not in position. Baghdad? Capitulate? No? And by loads of things, we might not even need to do this, because these guys might not need to do their push. The the guys on the other side have already broken through by loads of things. If we can snide through there... These guys should attack quite strong, because they're mainly... Oh no, they're not tanks. I pulled the tanks out. Okay, alright, maybe not then. It still wouldn't give them much of an advantage, because that's only mountain, so we'd lose all our speed, lose our attack damage, lose our breakthrough. So it might be better off just using the rocket infantry in the in the in this scenario. I'm nervous about these guys here but pushing in. If they re even though they've capitulated, if they regain their land back, are they gonna produce troops and forces here? Are they moving? I don't know. We take Basra with sword. What is their national unity? 90. We're going to have to occupy the whole continent. Well, peninsula. Are they going to give up now? Oop, shit. 75%. Wow, why haven't they given up? I bet they already have given up, haven't they? And they're just I've just not seen the message. Okay. Alright. Whenever you're ready, guys, go, go, go. I'll be honest with you, I feel like this game is a little bit tricky to play and when the game starts to lag like this late game. Now, I'm not sure if it's based on, like, overall number of divisions, but it seems to me like I'm taking out so many countries that I won't even need to bother about things like... Yeah, I don't know, to me, it seems like there's more countries and more divisions at the very start of the game, so technically it should be slower at the start of the game, so I don't really know what slows it down, you know? Look at this mess. <laughs> that is so awful. Ah, oh, please don't do that. I just need to cut through them, that's all I need to do. Are you counterattacking me? Is this really happening? And then you're gonna do the same thing, come back. That way we can keep a really wide front and not have to worry about getting encircled. Oh man, more divisions, they've got so much defense. I'm starting to feel like the the possibility of pushing into America from here is going to be pretty much not going to happen. Hmm. I think we're probably going to have to open a new front from Newfoundland, probably. If we had an opportunity to attack, that window is closed now. You know what we should have done? We should have had troops on this front line just sitting here waiting. I, I, was, I, was, I had this suspicion that they weren't going to attack, but it looks like they did. Okay, I was wrong. 
Alright, we've taken the capital of Iran. What is their national unity? 75. So, we might be able to get them. Or we might not. I don't know. And they've closed us in. <laughs> oh, I should stop doing that. That doesn't, never works, does it? That strategy never works where you try and push in blindly to try and connect everyone up. It looks like we have cut them off though because there's a straight cut there. Can we push downwards maybe? Oh, they're running away. Are they going to get overrun? Bet they are. How come you're running away though? You've got organization. Oh, they may have already lost and then the organization has gone away. Okay. Oh, they've connected it up here. Well, that was a waste of time. Fighting in mountains in this game is really tricky, you know. You have to play, you have to, well it's kind of cool in a certain way because you have to play the game kind of differently. You have to uh, take into account that you've got, well, worse supply. You've got to take into account that you've, you're going to move slower. You've got to take into account that all the excess firepower that you had before is useless. So there's lots of things you have to take into account. A count. All right, have we got any of our new jets we could use? It'd be really useful in this region too. It'll keep our progression nice and high. Got some of these Mark ones. No, where's the jets? Just want the jets I want. Here we go. No close air support. Interwar bomber. Here we go. It's the Mark ones that I want. Okay, we can only have 200. All right, that was a better one. So uh, the reason why I'm selecting the jets is because the jets have got awesome range. And these have got shitty airports too. And the Baghdad one's the best airport. It's going to arrive on the 23rd of October. Cool. I've got a funny feeling these guys are going to connect up here and then we're going to be fighting them again a second time round. Ding ding, round two. I think it's not a lot of point clicking on them, is it? Because we're not going to be able to grab their capital and make them capitulate with 90% national unity. Alright, we've arrived and we do not have air superiority. Any difference to the amount of attack that we're doing? No. We need to get more planes to be able to do that, and we don't have a lot of airports with enough capacity. I guess we could fill out all the airports, but that just seems like a big chore to me. Let's, let's do it anyway, why not? We've got lots of planes. We'll drop the speed down. This is 400, 400, 200, um... What is the size of this one is? This is 600. Alright, here, here, here. Storm has reduced it by 30%. Okay. We lost many planes here. How many planes have we lost? We have lost... Seven. They've lost five. Alright, I think we can overpower them with sheer numbers. Could even get my extra industrial capacity, and that just feels completely wet. That's a complete waste, isn't it? Because there's no point. At this point in the game, the extra industry capacity is just wasted anyhow, because my own industrial capacity right now is through the roof. Um, logistics. Oh, no supply. Yeah, we've formed some kind of little gap. They are moving, though. This is the UK. Yugoslavia? What? Yugoslavia exists? It is. That's Yugoslavia. How do they have troops? Oh, 
Oh my goodness, so many convoys lost. We've not checked on our imports and exports in a while. Oh, we don't, we've not exported anything anyway. Guys, if you have enjoyed this episode, remember to like and subscribe. We are fighting an uphill battle here. Trying to contain, oh my god, so many troops locked into Asia. Uh, but guys, if you enjoyed this episode, like and subscribe. And drop us a comment below how you feel the series is going. I hope you have a good day, everyone. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. 11 convoys. Ouch.